Berg Engineering History. This one is basically a part one of how the Emma came to be. I've told this story to a few people, but it goes like this. Sometime back in say 93, 1994, a person walked into the office uh, of Berg Engineering, which was at that time inside Pratt & Miller in Michigan. He brought in a small little black device had a little actuator sticking out of it. And he said, I'm selling this and I want to show it to you. It was Kurt Rorg, myself, and Kelly Lowen in the office. He hooked up a CD to this actuator, plugged it into the wall, and he basically put the actuator on the desk and played the song using the actuator to create music, noise, through the desk. The desk was the speaker at this point. And when he was done, we looked at it, we talked about it, and it was it was rather incredible. The frequency response you could get out of it was such that you could play music. This little actuator had been used in, I believe they were doing uh, movie theater seats in different rides, but this was the idea that started the Emma electric linear actuator. And it was this little demonstration that happened back in 1994 is, is what I'm, I'm remembering that started that process. There you go.